the next topic is asylum. So, asylum. <coughs> uh, we will read meaning and definition of asylum and uh, what are the kind of asylum. So, basically what is asylum? The term asylum means a shelter and active protection which is extended to political refugee from one state to another state which admits him on request. What does it mean? It means that asylum is a shelter. It is an active protection. It is a protection plus active protection. Something more than a protection. Something more than a short term protection. And generally it is political in nature and is extended to a political refugee. For example, Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama is a political refugee of China. So, India has extended a shelter and an active protection to a political refugee. Sometimes it does happen that the people, a person is not a criminal, is fighting against a state for democracy or human rights or something like that. But the vested interest in other states are so strong that they may kill him and he becomes an icon. So, he is politically being prosecuted. So, another state ex extends him a shelter on an active protection, which is a sort of political refuge. And this is on his request. He should voluntarily come. You shouldn't kidnap him or take him. Uh, by force. So, we can say the asylum means a shelter and active protection which is extended to a political refugee from another state by a state which admits him on request. Now, according to Stark, asylum involves two elements. The first element is a shelter which is more than a temporary, temporary refuge. We have already read it. So, it is more than a temporary refuge. There should be a degree of active protection on part of authority which have control over territory of asylum. So, for example, you cannot give, India cannot give asylum in China. It can give asylum in territory where it has an active control. You will give, you will be able to give asylum only on your territory where you have control. As regards right to asylum, there is no such everybody has a right to asylum but duty to extend asylum is not over there means Dalai Lama if he comes to India and asks for asylum he has right to ask for asylum but there is no obligation on India to give asylum so there is a article 14 of universal declaration of human rights UN uh, there was a universal declaration of human rights and there is an article 14 so, it states that everyone has right to seek and enjoy in another country asylum from prosecution. So, so everybody has right to seek and enjoy in another country asylum from prosecution. It may however be noted that the declaration simply recognizes the right of asylum. It does not grant right to receive asylum. Thus, although everyone has right to seek asylum, yet there is no corresponding duty of state to give grant asylum. This uh, we made it clear from our earlier uh, example. Now again, uh, Professor Oppenheim, who is one of the most leading exponent, uh, who has given uh, most contribution to international law, says, the so called right of asylum is nothing but to but the competition of every state to allow prosecuted alien to enter and to remain on its territory under its protection and thereby to grant asylum to him. Such fugitive enjoys the hospitality of state which grants him asylum, but it might be necessary to place him under surveillance or even to intern him at some place in the interest of state which is seeking him to prosecute. So, Oppenheim says that right to asylum is nothing but a competence of the state to a prosecuted alien. If there is a prosecuted alien, if, is a, uh, if it is not a citizen of his country, for example, Dalai Lama is a prosecuted alien. He belongs to Tibet or China, whatever you may call it. So, he comes and remains in territory under its protection. Means, he will come over here 
and we can uh, india can have a surveillance right over him also so duty to give asylum is not over there it's a choice for a state now there are kinds of asylum there are two kinds of asylum one is territorial asylum and another is extra territorial asylum so extra territorial asylum or diplomatic asylum it's outside territory as the name is suggest extra territorial means outside territory territorial asylum means inside territory so territorial asylum is granted by states in its own territory now because a territory uh, there, there is a sovereignty attached with every country for example india there is a sovereignty attached with india india is a sovereign country it can do whatever within its territorial limit which means that from jammu kashmir to uh, kanyakumari india can do whatever it wants there is a territorial sovereignty and because there is a territorial sovereignty it can ask any alien or extend any alien or give him hospitality to come inside his country and live over there so for example dalai lama india gave because of territorial sovereignty india had all the right to allow him because he was a prosecuted alien he was a prosecuted uh, political uh, refugee so india allowed to come him come from china and live in its territory he is living in dharamshala which is in indian territory so territorial asylum is granted by state in its own territory first and is considered a, as an attribute of territorial sovereignty of state which grants asylum on march 28 1945 uh, 2 years before uh, something 2 years 2 and 1/2 years before indian independence a convention on territorial asylum was adopted at karakas the article on the offset convention says every state has right to exercise of its sovereignty to admit into its territory such person as it deem advisable so every state whether it may be india china pakistan has the right to exercise an extent asylum and this right is exercised in exercise of its sovereignty because it's a sovereign nation and it exercises its sovereignty and admits into its territory uh, such person it, it de- may deem fit this principle has also been incorporated in various article of refugee convention of 1951 article 31 32 33 there is a refugee refugee convention of 1951 uh, the dalai lama and tibetan followers um, are a classic example the grant of asylum to dalai lama and his followers was indication of the exercise of territorial sovereignty of india india was a sovereign nation india is a sovereign nation and is within rights to grant asylum to dalai lama and his follower in the territory of india so india can whether port blair andaman nicobar haryana himachal pradesh anywhere they can allow him to live they can have keep surveillance and other thing but they can allow him to and it's their right also second example is influx of refugee from bangladesh so india was also within its right to grant asylum to millions of refugee from east pakistan now it's bangladesh it is called they fled from their native place due to repressive policy followed by ruthless prosecution caused by military regime of general yahya khan there was general yahya khan he started repressing Uh, the east pakistan the election was won by the people sheikh mujahid bhai mujahid of east pakistan and uh, the army started uh, because uh, generally the army is very dominant over there and it's not as disciplined as indian army so repression started over there and uh, there were millions of refugee and india was within right india was giving uh, refuge to these refugees second is extra territorial or diplomatic asylum a state may grant asylum in its embassy in foreign country or public vessel extra territorial or diplomatic asylum may be classified into two categories first is asylum in foreign legation and second is asylum in warships for example uh, the in afghanistan war 
uh, the, the, the there was an afghanistan president i don't remember his name now so that president when taliban uh, invaded afghanistan he ran away in the uh, embassy uh, i don't i'm not remembering which country embassy he uh, he went inside that but the taliban dragged him out and it was violation of the uh, it was considered violation of the sovereignty of a particular nation it also happened in panama panama there was general noriega when us invaded panama general noriega ran inside vatican city whole of the panama city the capital of panama was captured by us but us army didn't went inside vatican city they asked the pope to ela- to force him to come out but the port pope refused so the mighty army of us was standing outside the embassy of vatican city and they were not getting inside it was just a walk away they could have uh, taken him and taken him out but that was a diplomatic immunity that was extra territorial or diplomatic asylum uh, granted to him so after few months or something like that he came, himself came out with his own will so first asylum in foreign leg- leg- legation since granting of diplomatic asylum involves derog- a derogation from the sovereignty of state international law ordinarily does not recognize a grant a general right of head of mission to grant asylum in premises of legation according to stark asylum may be granted in legation pre- premises in following exceptional cases first asylum may be grant- granted for a temporary period to individual who are physically in danger from mob violence or in case of fugitive who is in danger because of political corruption in the local state asylum may also be granted where there is a well established and binding local custom third is asylum may also be granted if there is a special treaty between territorial state and state of legislation legation concerned now point b asylum in consular premises the above principle also apply in consular premises the third is asylum in the premises of international institution generally speaking international law does not recognize any rule regarding the grant of asylum in premises of international institution however temporary asylum may be granted in case of danger of imminent violence asylum in warships there is a controversy in this regard to the grant of asylum in warships some writer of view that asylum can be granted in warships in the territorial water of a coastal state on the other hand some writers have expressed the view that the fugitive should be immediately handed over to local police but it is conceded that asylum may be granted to a political offender then asylum in merchant vessels since merchant vessel do not enjoy immunity from local jurisdiction they are not competent to grant asylum to local offenders so generally in foreign legation it's not allowed but if we see um, theoretically it's not al- allowed uh, there are certain cases but generally because for example nepal embassy is considered deemed to be a place outside india it is considered a place which is of nepal it is considered as sovereign place of nepal so generally but being in inside the state there is a territorial derogation uh, can come so generally the international law is not very clear it doesn't allow except in certain cases but practically uh, the army and other uh, doesn't go inside the embassy of another country so this is what asylum is so we have re- read the meaning and definition of term asylum uh, we have read that it is provided to political refugees it is provided uh, by the state in its territorial area and uh, it's more than uh, a temporary refuge and there is a active protection on part of authority who has control over territory of asylum then there is a right to asylum 
but there is no duty of asylum then there are two type of asylum territorial uh, asylum uh, which a state is within right to provide uh, territorial asylum then there is extra territorial or diplomatic asylum uh, it's in foreign legation so that the if a person generally is not uh, the terri- uh, the extra territorial asylum is generally not allowed it does it is not recognized but it can be grant, uh, for, uh, granted for a temporary period uh, to individual who are physically in danger from mob violence there is a mob violence or a fugitive because of corruption political corruption mm, there is in a local state uh, he is in he may well get into problem or there is a well established and binding local custom or there is uh, a special treaty as regards uh, the scene so in this particular cases it can allow but generally it's not allowed uh, thanks thanks